Hey guys, Pokesick29 here. Welcome to episode number 5 of Paintball Coding. In this video, we are going to continue with the uh, commands. Before we begin, I have three uh, short announcements. The first is, I'm sure you guys have noticed, but my channel has once again been redesigned with a new banner, a new avatar, and new uh, thumbnail images. Um, this theme was done by uh, my friend Pongo, the same guy that did the previous theme, which is right there because YouTube has not yet updated. Um, this theme is really awesome, and I really like it, and I'm going to keep it for a very long time. Uh, he's a really good, he's a really talented uh, artist with these kind of things, and he's very quick at, at, with his work, and if you tell him what you want, then he can make a very, he can, you know, take what you want and really make something nice that follows your specifications. So, uh, in the description, probably not as soon as I post the video, but soon after, I will post you guys, to you guys, uh, uh, some method of contacting him as well as his price range. If you guys are interested in getting your own channel art done by him, he is very fast and he is very good. Uh, you know, this is the second time he's done it, and it's really quality thumbnail images. I'm really happy with them. The second uh, announcement is that, um, as you can see here, I have added to the list of things that I need to do. Um, I will add a delete command, a force start command, uh, classes slash kits, I will do something with that. Um, stats, I will add specta spectation or spectating, spectating. I will add some spectating stuff, which I guess would be another command. Uh, so I will add spectating, and someone just wanted a message where, you know, you join and it'll say the player has joined on this, you know, or this team. So that is another thing that I will do. And the third thing is, uh, in the last video, my friend uh, joined me because I, I didn't have too much of a choice in... Uh, you know, I, I needed to make the video, I didn't really have any time. Uh, that will not be happening again, but it did bring up an interesting idea that I had, and I want to let you guys, I, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, what if, maybe not for every episode, but for some episodes, I get one of my subscribers, so a, felt, so a, uh, you know, a beginning bucket coder, like a lot of you guys, to join me, probably over Skype, with a voice chat, and they could go through and see what I'm doing and, you know, you know, ask questions if they have any questions because uh, chances are a lot of the questions that they, that they have are questions that you guys will have because I usually get a few questions in the comments after I post videos. So if you guys are interested in that idea, let me know in the description because I think it could be kind of interesting and, you know, every few episodes get, you know, a, a random subscriber to join me with a voice chat and, you know, ask some questions or, uh, you know, about the coding that I'm doing and whatever. So, that, sh that is, uh, I believe that those are all the announcements that I have. So, let's go ahead and begin. Just two quick things we need to do. The first is, it looks like the leave command has an error because we didn't finish filling in all of the fields. I don't know if the leave class had an error when I left you guys, but let's just quickly finish it. Um, so you need your public string name, return leave, and public string info. Return uh, leave an arena. And our public string array alias is public string array 
aliases return new string array uh, and it'll just be L okay so that should fix it now let's go ahead and get started we're going to first make the create and delete commands now before we do that we need to go into the settings manager and add two small um, methods the first is um, public or actually this could be private it's a uh, save method and we're just going to take this these two lines of code and move them there you, the method can be public or private whatever but you don't really need to call the save method because um, it's called with the other methods in settings manager so let's go ahead and call save and the reason why I did that is because we're going to make another uh, public void create configuration section string path because we need a method to create a configuration section and you can't use set path new configuration section so all it is is just arena sorry arenas dot create section path and then save so those are the two quick changes that we need that we needed to make so now we can go ahead and make our create command and what was it no command shift o yes i'm so used to uh Oh, it's not abstract command, it's subcommand. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our public void on command and uh, player p string array args. Okay. Command shift. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now let's go ahead. This is the create command. So let's first, we're going to go ahead and say if arena manager dot actually no before we even do that we need to check their argument to see if it's an integer so if args dot length equals zero uh, sorry not uh, message manager dot get instance dot severe to the player and we will say uh, you must specify an ID. Actually, trying to think, maybe rather than do this, we'll just, um, yeah, I think that maybe rather than specifying an ID, we'll just go ahead and create a new arena, just like with the next number. So if there's already 10 arenas, it'll create number 11. So go ahead and say if arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for, uh, okay, then we don't even need that either. So we can go ahead and say int id equals arena manager dot, sorry, arena manager, what's wrong with this? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Arena manager dot get instance dot get arenas. And let's go ahead quickly to Arena Manager and make a quick uh, public array list arena get arenas return arenas. Just quickly make that because then we need to say if Arena Manager in I that get arenas dot size and that will return the number of arenas in the array list. Uh, and then we need to just do plus one sorry, plus two. Uh, we're doing plus two because, um, hang on. No, I'm sorry, it's just plus one. So, we're getting the number of arenas, and then we're adding one for the next arena. So then we're going to go ahead and say, uh, settings manager dot get instance dot create configuration section ID, and then just empty text. So then what we're doing is we are creating a configuration section with the new ID, and then we should be able to say p dot send message. Oh, sorry. 
message manager dot get instance dot uh, severe uh, no this is good this is good to the player saying um sorry created arena id okay that should be all we need and while i'm remembering i want to add someone requested permissions i mean you guys already know how to do that but i guess i could probably put that in just for like creating and i guess you know whatever like a permission for all the admin commands and uh but you guys already know how to do that public string name return create sorry public string info return create an arena and then we'll just uh, public string array aliases return new string string array uh, see all right, that should be good for the create command. Okay, then we can go ahead and do the delete command. All right, now we can go ahead and say public void sorry, public void on command player p uh, string array args command shift o. Okay, so now this will actually take an argument because, you know, we need to know which uh, arena id to delete. So we'll go ahead and say if args dot length equals zero uh, message manager dot get instance dot severe to player you must specify an arena number turn then we can go ahead and say int id then we did this for join in fact we could probably just copy that let's just go ahead and copy that because the join is very similar, and then we can say, um, in fact, we could probably just copy all of that code and tab it over. So, you know, the same as what we did in the other one, we're saying the ID is, you know, we're having this ID variable, we're attempting to parse it. If it fails, then we're saying it's not a valid number. Then we're getting the arena from the ID. If it doesn't exist, then we're saying there's no arena. If the arena is uh, started, then we'll say arena 1 is uh, in-game, because you don't want to delete the arena while there's a game going on. So, then finally, you can go ahead and say, a, uh, sorry, we can say settings manager dot get instance dot set uh, id plus empty string to null. I believe that we are storing it like that. Let me just see. Yes. Good. Uh, and then we can go ahead and and that will automatically save. So we can say arena manager dot get instance dot setup because now we're deleting this arena, so we need to set everything up. And we're probably also going to want to broadcast a you know, we're probably going to want to stop all of the games and then do this so uh, we'll just write to do stop all games and broad cast so we can implement that once we could you know we'll probably add a force start I think is one of the things and then a force stop so now all we need is a public string name return delete public string info return uh, delete an arena 
public string array uh, aliases return uh, d sorry new string array d and what's wrong oh, I spelled name wrong okay um so let me go ahead and delete that it looks like that is all that we have time for in this video. Uh, this is a list of everything that I need to get to. I will eventually get to it. If you don't, if there's something that you want that's on this list, feel free to add it. But just remember, I will not go back to the regular bucket series until this is done. So if you guys are really interested in making a super complex paintball plugin and you want me to spend a lot of time with that, then that's okay. If you guys just want to learn like how to make a basic paintball plugin and you want me to go back to the bucket tutorials and teach you more um, you know, plugin APIs and built-in bucket uh, you know, features and whatever, then we can do that too. I do have a, uh, I have, I'm not going to open it right now, but I do have a nice list of uh, things that I will get to once the paintball series is done. Uh, two quick things. The first is, as far as saving the stats and whatever, I saw a comment request for MySQL or SQLite or something like that. Um, I And I've gotten a bunch of requests. I do not know how to use MySQL I, I not really. I I believe that I do know how to establish a connection and run query queries. I think they're called, but I don't real. I really don't know how to um like like you like SQL has a whole different syntax with like you know different things that you need to do and and it's a whole big deal. Um, I, I do have some interest in it, so if you guys are really interested in SQL, I can attempt to figure it out, but I can tell you guys that it's very complex, it's not easy to do, and in order to really learn very well, you need to, um, like, you need to learn the SQL syntax, which is a whole big thing there. The second thing is, I believe that the Pogo Ball project is still on bucket dev um, pogo ball here let's see if it's still up so I th I'm pretty sure it, yes it is all right um yeah so whoever oh it looks like I am now the manager okay so that is that's fine I was just gonna say to please take it down I see that that already happened. So, a bunch of you guys were nice enough to talk to the guy. So, uh, now I have control of the project. So, uh, never mind that. And I did get a comment request for a build build of it once it's done. So, I will post it to Pogo Ball. I, I'll post it to this page. I don't think that I'll, you know, keep updating it. But I will, um... I will post it to this page when it is done. So, that is all for this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. And if you liked this video, let me know by clicking the like button. I will see you guys tomorrow.